Rev up your engines. Today I'm going to talk about how nanotechnology products in some cars is nano nonsense. Now to understand nanotechnology, realize that the first real idea of nanotechnology came from the physicist Richard Feynman, one of my heroes. Way back in 1959, Feynman described the possibility of directly manipulating atoms, and that eventually led to nanotechnology, which is manipulation of matter at an atomic or molecular level. And technically nanotechnology is the manipulation of objects where at least one of their three dimensions is anywhere from 1 to 100 nanometers large. Now a nanometer is a billionth of a meter, and to give you an idea, this piece of paper is 100,000 nanometers thick, so 1 nanometer is a real tiny little space. And in the scientific world, a lot of stuff has been done with nanotechnology, it's quite fascinating, but when it comes to the automotive world, a lot of stuff that's called nanotechnology is just a scam. And here's one of them that I tried out, it's called Armor Shield 9. This little bottle is like $69, and it's supposed to seal the paint on your car, and make it shine and last forever. Well this Armor Shield 9, it came in a cute little box with an application pad, and some microfiber towels, so I tried it out just like the direction set on some cars. And one, this tiny little bottle couldn't even do one little car, contrary to their directions, and really, it didn't last that long, and it really didn't look that great either, it was very hard to apply. I guess they're so into small at this nanotechnology stuff that they sell you small amounts of the stuff, and it really doesn't even work that well. I personally found that this new finish, this can't cost me $9.99, it works just as well if not better, and <laughs> this has been around for ages, you can buy it in any store. So my advice on this nanotechnology wax and coatings, hey, they don't sell it in the stores for a reason. People would be furious if they spent 69 bucks and it messed up their paint, or it didn't do anything, and they wasted all that money when they could have bought a $10 can of wax that works just as well. So my advice on this nanotechnology micro sealers that you can put on paint and stuff, stay away from it. They even had one that you sprayed on your windshield that was supposed to seal your windshield. Heck, they didn't last very long, and it didn't work very well either. But nanotechnology in cars doesn't stop there. I've had people sell me these little syringes that you squirt into your engine oil that are supposed to rebuild your engine as it drives with nanotechnology. Now sure, it'd be great if you were a car doctor and you had a syringe, and you injected some of the stuff into a worn engine, and it would coat everything and make the engine like new. But really, you live in dreamland if you think that's going to actually work. One, you're just squirting this stuff in. It's not going to molecularly bond and rebuild your engine. I mean, if it really did have stuff that bonded on, it could bond onto the wrong parts and clog stuff up inside your engine. Especially a modern one like in this Toyota that has variable valve timing with tiny little holes that could be blocked up. Now, I personally tried out a bunch of these little gels. They might call them nanotechnology or ceramic nanotechnology. I had so many of them that I took some and I gave them to a friend of mine who was an engineer at a big oil company. He was this mad English genius, and he analyzed all and said, Scotty, you know, we actually did look at that kind of a formulation in the past, but we came to the conclusion that we're never going to put it in any of our oils because it either had a deleterious effect where it would clog stuff up, or it have no effect at all. I mean, if stuff like this really worked, people would sell it in oil and they'd make a fortune. And of course, inevitably, the people that sent me this stuff, I contact them and say, look, I need some proof from actual scientists who've tested this out and showed how it works. Well, guess what? Every single one of them, I never got to talk to a real scientist at any of them. But one of them had a link to this one scientist. So I got a hold of the guy, and he said, hey, I'm going to get a hold of them. They used my name saying that I said this product works. I never did any such thing. He wasn't going to stand behind anything like that. He wasn't a fool. He'd ruin his scientific reputation going for some snake oil like this. And 
of course, the companies themselves, they have all kinds of testimonials that are anecdotal. Oh, I put this in my diesel and it had less blow by and la la la. But really, all of that stuff is either totally made up or maybe for a short period of time it did something, but over time it's not going to fix anything. And it really could clock stuff up. So this is even worse than the sealers you can put on paint and stuff because you might end up destroying your engine using something like this. Because when it comes to people using the name nanotechnology with cars, it's often just nano nonsense. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.